In a world full of contrasts, there is a language that transcends borders, fashion. It speaks in the quiet language of the threads that drape our bodies, of the colors that reflect our moods, and the textures that express our deepest selves. Fashion speaks not only to the eyes, but to the soul. It speaks of dreams, aspirations, histories, and future possibilities. But fashion, as we know it, isn't just about clothes. It is an expression of the world around us, of the lands and oceans, the mountains and waterfalls, and the ancient rhythms of nature that shape our lives. It is a reflection of the environments we come from, the climates we navigate, and the ecosystems we coexist with. Each garment tells a story, of where we are, where we've been, and where we are going. It carries with it the echo of the places we walk, the landscapes that shaped us, and the natural forces that continue to mold us look to the shores, where the horizon meets the sky, where the ocean whispers its ancient secrets to the winds. The rhythm of the sea guides the movements of those who walk along its edge, particularly the women whose every step seems to embody the fluidity of the ocean, the power of the waves, and the tranquility of the still waters. Their clothing, light and flowing, echoes the movement of the ocean itself. Silks and cottons ripple in the breeze, catching the sunlight and shimmering with the lightest touch. Fabrics that seem almost alive, moving with the air, just as the water shifts and changes with every breath of wind. The very material seems to breathe, its movement synchronized with the ebb and flow of the tide. As the women walk along the shoreline, their garments trail behind them like the trails of foam left by the receding tide. These clothes are a celebration of freedom, of movement, of life itself. They are alive in their own way, stretching and expanding with each shift in the wind and each step taken on the sand. The materials used are soft, airy, yet substantial enough to carry the energy of the earth and sea with them. Light cottons, flowing silks, and delicate linens that are meant to be worn not just as fashion, but as a testament to nature's boundless energy, i.n. places where the water is never still, where the ocean becomes a force of nature rather than a gentle embrace, women's fashion is a reflection of nature's raw power. Vibrant blues and whites mimic the stormy skies, while deep greens and rich earth tones draw from the coastal forests and cliffs that edge the shore. The ocean is not just water here, it is the source of life, a realm of constant movement, and an ancient presence that speaks of resilience and strength. Their attire reflects both beauty and fortitude. Waterproof fabrics that resist the spray of sea salt and wind, airy dresses that billow like sails, and accessories that capture the essence of marine life. These garments are designed not just to protect, but to honor the ocean's ceaseless energy and vitality. Structured pieces of leather, light linen, and sheer organza combine to allow freedom of movement, even as they shield from the spray and sun. Fashion becomes a dance with the forces of nature, a balance of power and grace and then, there is the waterfall, the embodiment of nature's unstoppable force. Imagine standing beneath its thundering spray, women wrapped in fabrics as bold and dramatic as the falls themselves. The sheer power of the water, plunging from great heights, mirrors the strength and grace of those who wear these pieces. Cascading gowns, adorned with intricate beadwork or patterns that mimic the swirling water below, shimmer like droplets of water suspended in midair. The colors are as intense as the rush, deep blues, radiant whites, and a spectrum of greens, as if nature itself is pouring through the fabric. These designs evoke the sensation of water cascading from rock to rock, the rush of the earth itself in motion. Each piece of clothing becomes more than just fabric, it becomes a metaphor for transformation, for power, and the fluidity of nature's forces. Like the waterfall, the clothes are dynamic, constantly in motion, yet grounded in their origins. They reflect both the timeless power of nature and the fleeting beauty of each moment. But fashion is not always about power, it can also be about harmony. In the stillness of a forest, where the trees whisper their ancient wisdom and the earth itself hums with life, women's fashion blends effortlessly into the backdrop of nature. The rustling of the leaves, the scent of the earth, the quiet songs of distant animals, these elements find their way into their clothing. Soft, muted tones of browns and oranges, like the colors of autumn leaves, mingle with subtle patterns of florals and intricate stitching that mimic the growth of vines and branches. The clothes become more than just garments, they become an extension of the forest itself. Light, breathable, delicate, like the wildflowers that bloom at the forest's edge. Fabrics seem to breathe, to blend, as though the wearer is both a part of the forest and a messenger of it. The garments are like living pieces of art, woven from the soil, the leaves, 
and the branches that make up the ecosystem itself. I and the deserts. 2. Fashion mirrors the relationship between woman and nature. The dry, barren landscape is met with clothing that is both functional and beautiful. Here, fabrics are often lighter, airy, and yet protective. The heat of the sun is met with wide-brimmed hats and flowing layers that shield the body, but allow the air to circulate, offering both protection and freedom. Earthy tones of sand, ochre, and rust match the landscape's ancient palette. Long robes, loose-fitting and unencumbered, catch the wind and dance like mirages across the desert floor. There is a silent elegance to this desert attire, as though it has always been one with the land, a marriage of tradition and the wisdom of the desert's past. The dryness of the landscape speaks to resilience. These clothes are made to withstand the harshness of the environment yet also to celebrate its subtle beauty, the way a single bloom can stand out against a vast, barren landscape. Women in these garments seem at one with the earth, strong, dignified, and unyielding in the face of adversity but fashion is not limited to the land. It stretches to the skies, where women draw inspiration from the winds themselves. From the snowy peaks of the mountains, where the air is crisp and thin, to the tropical warmth of the equator, where clouds roll by lazily above the endless ocean, the threads of style weave themselves into the very essence of the world. The mountain ranges, with their icy reaches and wind-blown summits, inform the way we dress for the cold. Woolen shawls, woven with care, drape over shoulders, while soft-knit scarves encircle necks in hues of icy white, slate gray, and frosted silver. The fabrics are designed not only for warmth, but for the endurance to withstand the harsh elements of the highest altitudes. Yet, they remain graceful, embodying the majesty of the peaks. The air may be cold, but there is a warmth that emanates from the fabrics and the people who wear them. It is a warmth born of tradition, of deep ties to the land and to the generations that have lived within these mountains. The patterns etched into their fabrics tell tales of the lands they come from, tribal motifs passed down through generations, connecting each wearer to the mountain peaks that rise above them. The mountain woman is not just a survivor of the cold. She thrives within it, wrapped in layers of warmth that keep her strong and vibrant in the harshest conditions. These clothes, though protective, are not just for survival, they are an ode to the land itself, a tribute to the power of the natural world to nourish, sustain, and guide. And in the most tropical corners of the earth, fashion embraces the life of the water, the color of the seas, the ripples on the surface, the vibrant pulse of coral reefs beneath the surface. Here, the fabric is alive with color, bright yellows, deep coral reds, and emerald greens. Flowing garments are adorned with prints that evoke the beauty of the ocean's creatures, its corals, its fish, its creatures of the deep. Women here move with the rhythm of the tides, as free and fluid as the water that nourishes them. The clothing is soft, often sheer, as though woven from the very air itself. Each piece is light, like a breath, moving with the rhythms of the sea. Whether they walk barefoot along the shoreline or glide gracefully through lush gardens, their fashion connects them to the depths of the oceans, where life is vibrant and ever-changing. The garments reflect a deep connection to the elements, living with the tides, flowing with the air, and dancing with the winds. There is a connection that transcends time and space between women and nature. Fashion tells the story of this bond, how women dress not just for protection or adornment, but to celebrate the land and water that nourish them. Whether it's the strength of the ocean, the quiet grace of a forest, or the majestic heights of the mountains, nature's beauty and power are woven into the fabric of the clothes we wear. In every stitch and seam, the influence of the natural world can be seen, the swirls of water, the texture of the earth, the gentle curve of a mountain's peak. Fashion becomes a way of living in harmony with the planet, of wearing the Earth's history and its future on our bodies. But what happens when the land and the water collide? When the Earth meets the sea, and the rushing rivers carve through valleys, bringing life and change with each twist and turn? This, too, is reflected in fashion, the merging of textures and colors. The richness of the land and the fluidity of water, together, they form a picture of harmony, balance, and infinite possibility. The Earth's deep browns, its rich greens, and its sandy beiges are complemented by the fluid blues, whites, and silvers of the water. Together, they create a tapestry, a reflection of the feminine strength that resides in the connection between the two. Nature, with its endless variety, is the ultimate muse. 
Its colors, its patterns, its textures, these are the languages we speak when we choose what to wear. Fashion becomes a mirror to the world around us, a way to honor the earth, the oceans, the mountains, and the skies. The women who wear these styles, whether in the desert, by the sea, or amidst the forests, are not just expressing themselves, they are part of a greater story, one that connects us all. We wear the earth. We wear the water. We wear the sky. Every piece of clothing we choose reflects a part of the world, a part of our identity from the edges of the oceans to the heights of the mountains, from the depths of the forests to the vast deserts, the clothes we wear are more than just fabric. They are a tribute to the beauty and power of the world, a way to honor the forces of nature that shape us, mold us, and, ultimately, guide us. Fashion, in all its forms, is a living expression, a reflection of the world we belong to. In each fold of fabric, in each color, and in every stitch, we were the stories of the world, forever connected to the earth, the air, and the seas. And in that connection, we find our own power and grace. I hope you like our video. If you like, don't forget to hit subscribe button for future interesting videos. Thanks for watching.